when you start filming, but you're not really filming. Press the button. What's up socials, welcome back to my channel. Today I thought I would share my February favorites. These are just some things that I've purchased that I thought maybe you'd wanna hear about just in case you're in the market for anything that I bought. I think Siri thought I was talking to her. I'm not, ta I'm not talking to you. Don't you get me started, Alexa. I'm a bit of an online shopper, you'll find, because whew, it's just so easy. Before we get started, make sure you subscribe to this YouTube channel because I upload videos every week, actually many times per week, but it's just easier to say it that way. Also, make sure you stay till the end because I have a little giveaway plan. First thing I want to, without clicking it because it's gonna pick up on the mic. First thing I wanted to show you is the Manfrotto Pixie mini tripod. So this is essentially uh, what got me through vlog like a boss the series in January because we needed to be able to take the camera everywhere but we needed some stability and this was the best handheld tripod I think I've tried so far for the really run and gun on the go video blogging that we were doing. It's super easy to hold, it's not very long so it really easily fits into like a purse or a smaller bag. I really like the rotation at the top because that's great for really quickly making the camera as even as possible. And the Sony RX100 is great at pointing out whether or not it's even at all. So the two together have been just so easy to work with really quickly on the go. I have noticed that the legs have gotten flimsier over time, but it really doesn't affect much other than the fact that you just, it, so they don't stay together on their own, which is not a huge deal. I haven't noticed it to be an issue. The tripod is still great quality and and it seems very sturdy in terms of the fact that I've been throwing it into bags and things like that. What's really cool, I just found this because when I looked up the price on Amazon today, there was another version available to purchase. They have one called the Pixie Smart, which actually comes with the adapter on top of it for a smartphone. So if you're not using a handheld camera, you are using your phone, you can easily use this same great mini tripod, but instead throw your phone on it instead of a camera. Regardless though, if you ended up having this mini tripod and you wanted to put a smartphone on it, you would just need to get the proper attachment for it, which is really easy to find on Amazon too. This tripod retails for 18 to $30, just depends on which one you get. I have the gray and pink one. I wanted the black one when I got it, but it wasn't available. The black one is now available now so stay tuned toward the end because it might have something to do with these tripods the next favorite I want to talk about is the Rode NT USB condenser microphone this is actually recommended to me by my songwriter for vlog like a boss the anthem dupes we were basically talking about what would be the best microphone for me to record the song with and this is the one that he recommended for one that's not too pricey, but was a little bit better quality than what we already have here. I really wasn't sure we were gonna use this microphone other than recording the song, but I'm actually using it right now to record the audiobook for Vlog Like a Boss. Once I'm done with it in that format, it's kind of just set up in my bedroom for me to be able to just bust out the audiobook. I think I'm gonna put it back over by my computer and use it for podcasts, because it really is a nice microphone. And if you're thinking about stepping up your game a little bit when it comes to having a microphone for your computer, whether you have a podcast or you do a lot of screen flow video or you just are interviewed on podcasts a lot just like me I actually think that this is gonna be a better microphone than what I have currently which is the audio technica ATR 2100 but it's not like the $400 Heil which I definitely don't need this microphone is on amazon.com right now for $169 and the link to that is below the next favorite I want to show you is actually what I'm reading notes out of right now and this is the Loistrom 1917 medium hard cover A5 notebook. This is the one with dotted pages and in the color of berry. It took me a long time to find out how to pronounce the company name of this little moleskin, but I just love it so much. If you aren't familiar with the bullet journal technique, that's what I've been doing to kind of keep track, keep track of all my notes. I keep a lot of things in here, like metrics for the blog, um, sort of just plans for videos in the future, plans for collaborations, stuff that I'm doing with sponsors. So I really, really like the bullet journal technique for keeping track of all that. I don't know if I've told you guys, but as much as I have tried and tried to find a digital note taking app that I like, I can't do it. I literally can't. I have Evernote in a place where it's a great archive for things that I know if I need to find it later, I'll be able to search and it's no big deal, but I hate 
operating out of it. It just doesn't bring me any joy. There's no other app that I've enjoyed using. So it's really, really tough, but no taking pen, paper. It's just how I roll these days. What I really like is how travel friendly this is. I pretty much can take this anywhere with me and um, it's not a huge notebook and it's also not too small that it's like, Am I even gonna be writing in this thing? I think we've all had a notebook like that before. I'm curious to hear if you have any interest in the bullet journal technique at all. I would love to go over how I'm doing that. If you guys have any interest, keep me posted on that. But I definitely like this journal. Something to keep in mind is that the bullet journal actually has its own journal. So you can go and buy theirs, but what I love about their site is they actually show you how to do it with any notebook and they really just advocate for the process. So that's so cool. And if they had had bullet journals in stock at the time that I was going to get one for 2017, I would have bought it, but they were all out. And so I went ahead with the Lystrom. So I'm loving this notebook a lot. I have a feeling I'm gonna fill it up a lot faster than I anticipated, so I might end up getting a traditional bullet journal at some point, but um, I'm not 100% sure how much the actual one at bulletjournal.com is, but the Lystrom 1917 is right now $19.95 on Amazon. So highly recommended, very high quality notebook, and uh, I'm using it right now. My fourth favorite of the month is the <laughs> external hard drive that I just bought. If you're not familiar, I make a lot of videos and it ends up being a ton of video files on my computer, which is so bad for the computer. When I'm editing, I actually use an SSD that is external from the computer. So I try to do as much as possible, not actually bogging the computer down other than the application itself. So the SSD is external and it's a lot faster than a hard drive, which is what makes it great to edit with. Props to my friend Austin Evans for teaching me this. But once I'm done editing everything, I definitely don't want it on the SSD because I need room there to edit. And I definitely don't want it on the computer. So I just need a place to dump it. And the only way to uh, economically do this responsibly is to buy a hard drive because they're not as fancy fast but they can hold a lot. So I recently bought the Seagate Expansion 8 terabyte external hard drive. And the reason I bought the 8 terabyte is because it was $209 on Amazon. And I was like, that is a great price for a lot of storage I don't foresee myself using all of in the near future. And I just thought, I'm just gonna buy it. You can actually get one of these hard drives for all of your files at, in a much smaller amount. One terabyte probably helps a lot of people that don't make a ton of videos, but I just wanted eight terabytes, so I just didn't have to think about it anymore. The amount of file storage movement I have to do is outrageous. I will say that it is a little bit loud once it's getting going, but it's faster than I anticipated, which is nice. So like moving files around that I realized I actually need while editing and things like that have been fairly easy. So I'm really liking this and it's made my life so much easier. So the last thing I wanna share is the special little thingy, the really dirty thingy. So the last thing I wanna show you is the ring that I have on the back of my phone. So what's interesting is when I was shopping for a case for my old phone, uh, I bought a case on Amazon that was clear and shock, shock absorption and all that kind of stuff. And then I bought the eye ring to put on the back of the case. Well, interestingly, this, this worked out great. Like this was totally reliable. I got a pink to match the pink. It was great. So I go to do the same thing for the new phone because it's the 7 Plus and the camera's different. So of course I needed a new case. And it turns out that the same company, Jet Tech, had started creating cases with a ring on it because I think they realized how many people were doing this and they were like, why don't we just do that? And it actually saved me money. This case is actually a decent case. It's black on the sides, it's clear on the back. I bought the matte black one, so I thought I'd show that off, but I'm really not showing it off because there's a clear backing on top of it, so I don't know why I did that. But the nice thing is that it came with the ring on the back. It's very sturdy. It's really nice for like, if you're taking selfies or something, like it's just super easy to work with. It came together and it was $7.99 on Amazon. I mean, that's great. It's so nice to finally be able to find cases that are reasonable, actually do their job, and, uh, and work, and are not that expensive. This, by the way, is also really handy as a kickstand. 
video watching at work. Those are my favorites for February, you guys. If you enjoyed this, let me know with a big like. That thumbs up button does a lot for me because it tells me we should do this again next month. I would love to hear if that's the case and that's a good way to indicate that. I do want to do a giveaway because you guys have been so incredible about everything so far in 2017, the book launch, all the videos, the way things have been happening around here and the way that you provide feedback to me has been so invaluable. So I wanted to do something special. I'm going to be giving away three of the Manfrotto Pixie Mini Tripods. All you have to do to enter is be subscribed to this channel. That's important thing number one. And then I need you to leave a comment below with the word pixie in it. And also like this video, you get an extra entry if you go over to Twitter and there is a click to tweet in the description. Use that because it'll be really useful. But as long as you tweet my handle at Schmatastic and say, I want the pixie, you'll have an extra entry there. That's all for today, socials. Thank you so much for tuning in. I appreciate it as always. Make sure you subscribe for good vibes. And as always, remember to go after what you want. Cheers.